What's going on guys? Chuck here with another awesome Blu-ray purchase. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 4K release from Vinegar Syndrome. It is 1980s Mother's Day. Um, this is a weird movie. Uh, <laughs> I guess some ways people would categorize it into the slasher genre maybe because this was coming out right around that time you know the early peak obviously 1980 very peak of the slasher apex if you will 80 80 82 somewhere in there uh, of course it is a holiday themed movie um which was all the rage around this time uh, but this is i don't really qualify this as a slasher film um there is this is more i don't know what you want to call backwoods redneck horror in a sense um because this is basically you know you have that's just a weird image sorry <laughs> uh for those who've not seen mother's day the premises you have i think it was four if i'm right four girls who college girls go out you know uh, on a like, annual trip together vacation and they run in the backwoods and run into these two brothers who are just the sickest degenerated degenerate, degenerates <laughs> backwoods kind of cliche people you could uh, ever find and who you know kidnap them and just <sighs> try to have their way with them not necessarily in the you know last house on the left way although that does come you know in a sense but just a little torture and other and whatnot but the kicker of this is that it's not only the boys but it's their mother who's basically the ringleader and you know she's encouraging them and she's she's helping to train them to be these weird killers they go through routines or they uh set up scenarios and you know how the best way to approach attack and kill <laughs> people um it's just a weird it's a dirty movie it's a dirty dirty movie if you ever watch it, I don't mean like it's like dirty as in, you know, sex. It's just dirty. It's just grimy. You feel like you need a bath, a shower, a hot silkwood shower after you watch this movie. It's just that that disgusting. Um, but it's actually, it's very entertaining in the same regard. Um, it's, 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 it's like a it's train wreck mentality in a way that you, you just, can't look away and not because it's, it's bad i mean i think it's, it's done very well it's released through trauma um not, but it's not really a trauma film i think charlie kaufman directed was like I believe lloyd kaufman's brother he directed this film and it's it's done fairly well um there's some i guess some things to hear be said about you know kind of poking fun at commercialism because these guys are these these two brothers are all about watch tv and this disgusting home but there's like product placement everywhere. It's in their following, you know, just what they see on TV and kind of just, it, it's, it's really, it's hard to pinpoint what I'm trying to say, but they live in a, in, in a shack. It's just filthy. It's disgusting. <laughs> there's crap everywhere. Um, but it's, I said, it's not really a slash film because they're not going, you know, going around and, and slashing it up and killing people one by one. They're really just, you know, they're captured, they're torturing. It's more along that lines, but not to the torturous extremes of, say, a I Spit on Your Grave or a, a Last House on the Left. It's tamer than those films. Uh, there's even some, you know, in some ways, it's some comedy in this. If you can get past some of the more, uh, you know, or wow, that's hard to watch in the sense, more of the, the, the Oh, not really the violence, but just the disgusting nature of, of these two individual brothers. Because um, they just look dirty. And they just look grimy. Uh, that's the hardest thing to really get around. And there are some, you know, great gore scenes. Like, you know, there's a scene where girls, that really sticks out to me the most, where the two girls trying to escape and they've got a rope, uh, tiny out of a window tied around. And, you know, they're sneaking out. And I think one friend is holding the other girl at the bottom. And she's, I think, wrapped up so you can't. You know, almost like he's dropped, lowering down the sleeping bag, if memory serves. But the girl's holding the rope, and, you know, she's got to hold it so long because, you know, she doesn't want to just drop down, but she's holding it, and the rope is cutting into her hands. And that scene is just, you just watch that rope just kind of cut and tear up the hands, and that is very, very, uh, to me, that's probably one of the, uh, I don't know if shocking isn't the word, but it's one of the most, it's a scene that gets you, for me. 
because that just you know it's slow it's it's drawn out and it's just like you just know that it's so painful the rope burn cutting so much into your skin uh, there's some nice really cool elaborate uh kills um here and the makeup effects are, are are pretty good it's an, it's enjoyable it's a it's almost it's a fun watch <laughs> i guess it depends on your mentality if it's fun or not but i enjoyed it um and i was really excited that you know vinegar syndrome put out this 4k release of this film this kind of blew me away. Uh, if I was take a look at this slip cover, that's great artwork. Reminiscent of the poster art. Here's the side and the back. There's a nice depiction of kind of what you're dealing with. You know, kind of girls trapped out in the backwoods with these crazy hillbilly folk. And I hope not disparaging the hillbillies anywhere. I'm not trying to be the cliche hillbilly. Let's put it that way. <laughs> and here is the artwork on the slip. And it's reverse artwork, and the other artwork is the same as this. Inside, it is a Blu-ray DVD combo, so you do have your, uh, excuse me, Blu-ray DVD, 4K Blu-ray combo. <laughs> I still haven't gotten used to that. I'm still stuck in the you know Blu-ray DVD days, uh, as opposed to the 4K Blu-ray days. So here's your 4K, there's your Blu-ray. And this has got a lot of nice features on it. You can see here, there's the back. And I'm probably going to take a picture of this and, and stick it up here because there's a lot to go through and this writing is really small. A um, few things I can tell you, though. Let's see. You've got a couple interviews on here. I believe with uh, woman, you know, the actress who played the mother, which is pretty cool. And, but there's a lot, of, a lot of good stuff on here. Again, I'll put up a screenshot to put up here. But it's, it's pretty loaded for this release, and I'm really glad to see this. It's a movie that I remember seeing in the video shelf because this image just sticks out it's a great poster art great image um but i never did rent it honestly i didn't see this uh until uh it aired on the last drive-in with joe bob briggs and i was like wow this is pretty cool um a little a little grimy uh, but entertaining nonetheless so again i'm very excited that uh Vinegar Syndrome decided to put this film on in a 4K release. This is really cool. So that is it for this quick video. Um, if you enjoy this, click thumbs up, share, subscribe, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you checked out Mother's Day. If you got this 4K release, you know what your thoughts are on it. Mine are pretty all over place and vague. I know I've only seen it the one time. I didn't really go back and, and revisit it, but I do remember you know what I what I saw did stick out with me, especially you know some of the scenes and. Uh, some of the kills and again it's just the grimy nature of it the, the, the disgusting filth you know this is just it's a filthy movie it just it's just dirty <laughs> and not in the kind of dirty that i like normally like but just dirty uh, as a friend of mine would say it's almost dirty it's that it's that dirty <laughs> or just say hi i'll always take hi so until next time this is chuck saying i will see you on the other side